Groucho Marx once said, given the choice between a cigar and a woman, he'd always choose the cigar. And things haven't changed much. The cigar business is still going strong, but Groucho is dead. Mike Haggett has a preview. Good morning, Mark. Open up your humidor outside the box this morning. We go inside the billion-dollar high-end cigar market. The boom may be over, but where there's smoke, there's still profits. So stay tuned, as Squawk Box says. Say the secret word, you win on a doubt. CNBC in your car, now available nationwide on Sirius Satellite Radio. Outside the box this morning, the cigar boom may have gone up in smoke, but that doesn't mean there aren't still plenty of stogies out there. There's a billion dollars on the table in the premium end of cigars, and our Mike Hegedus joins us now to light up the market. Have one. You know, it, it, I think there's I more know. to come. Does anyone think this goes with my image? I think it goes with your image. Oh, it definitely goes. But the one I got for you later goes with your image, baby. Mark, when the cigar industry got hot in the 90s, the premium cigar business more than tripled in total value. Cigar stores, cigar bars, cigar whatever were popping up everywhere. Then the market went bust and we were left with the butts. However, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. And the same goes for cigars. Yeah. 34-year-old Jeff Borsowitz is a survivor. You can see how nice and dark and oily this oh, tobacco yeah. is. This is sun-grown wrapper. It's from Ecuador. A survivor of the boom and bust of the premium cigar fad of the 90s. You had some inexperienced manufacturers starting to make some pretty bad product. You had a lot of people open up cigar stores and started selling cigars really where they shouldn't be. In fact, the 90s saw an increase in the high-end cigar sales push well past three times what the market was at the beginning of the decade. Sales were talked about in the multi-billions. <coughs> But when all that smoke cleared and the fad smokers had put out their stogies and the quickie cigar stores had gone back to selling ice cream, what was left? This the biggest Jeff Borsowitz. Yes, the world's largest retail cigar store. It's huge. There's a, there's a million and a half cigars here at this store. Borsowitz is the president and founder of the Corona Cigar Company. Started in 1996 in his Orlando, Florida house, not only did he ride the cloud of cigar smoke through the halcyon days, but managed to expand from a tens of thousands to a multi-million dollar operation in just six years. He's managed to do it by covering both ends of the hand-rolled market and nearly every niche in between, from scantily clad ladies to branches of the armed forces. At ease, soldier. In all, he owns 12 different brands to the sweet spot of the cigar business. Smokers who took it up during the boom and have kept it up. If a guy loves cigars and he has the opportunity to smoke them, he can, he can smoke four or five a day. We do have some customers that smoke that many, and those are generally the people that, that are our mail order customers. It's not only the cigars Borsowitz sells, but the way he sells them that has made a difference in his business. He ships out nearly two million catalogs yearly and has one of the top internet cigar websites by volume. It is also something else that has made Borsowitz successful where others have failed. Drive. He's just scaled back from working seven days a week for six straight years to five, and he has never lost sight of his goal, $100 million in sales. That's our goal, and we're on track. We'll end up doing that. And you know, in Jeff Borsowitz's case, that just might be smoke. All right, we have some, uh, you guys weren't in the service. These are the military branch cigars. So you're, I think you're smoking the Marine Corps there or something uh -huh. like that. All right. More importantly, however, this, my friends, the official Squawk Box cigar box. All right. Let's huh? Look at that. that. And if you open this up, my friend, yeah, you'll see. notice that they are laser printed with the names, with your names in there, with a Squawk Box. Oh, smoke. outstanding. Huh? Yeah. We just get Maria to smoke hers. But Excuse me. that's not enough. Excuse me. Yes. None of these have my name on them. Oh, but wait. There's a. I see Bartiromo, <laughs> Faber, yeah. Kernan. <laughs> I see our producer Quail. I see Mike Hagedis. Right. I don't see me. Why? Because when it comes to cigars, Look at that. you are the big <laughs> cigar. <laughs> you'll, notice, you'll notice your name's on that one. You can play baseball and with this. Don't let thing. anybody ever tell you that you're not the biggest cigar at the desk. Look at this. Yeah, well. Look at this. This thing is it? gigantic. Yeah, well, smoke it in between. All right. 